up guys, it's Redway9107 and Billa29 here. It's gonna be our last review for today. And oh, hold on a sec. Go ahead with me. It's right here. No. No? We are reviewing Nakla's Earl Grey. So, this is gonna be an interesting review for me, because uh, we've been smoking this. You know, now this head's been going for about 10 minutes. More or less. Um, uh, we didn't even find it necessary to use coconut articles because uh, we're so not fond of this yeah. flavor that we didn't find it worthy for coconut. We put on two, three kings. Bit of a backstory to that is I've had maybe five sessions with this. I've never been able to finish a bowl. Really don't like it. Figured, you know, I'd use my small Egyptian. Hold on, I'll show you. We've got a small Egyptian bowl, two, three kings, and 28 inch KN with rainbow hose. Um, yeah, let me show you the cut. You know, typical Nakla again. Pretty dry. Some stems, you know, the usual. Um, very clumped together. I actually had to break it up a lot before I put it in the bowl. Um, the sessions I've had so far, awful, awful. Just got awful, terrible. Uh, this one's not doing as bad as the previous ones. Yeah. It's it's definitely a much better improvement, but still not that great. From what well, you can tell directly from the smell when you open it. It smells a lot like Earl Grey. There's a little hint of a rosy scent in it, which kind of yeah. what puts us off to it. We had Rose, uh, what company was it from? It was Nakla also. Nakla as well. Absolutely hated Just Rose. God awful. We didn't even touch it. We gave it away, in fact. We Not even worth a review. We traded it yeah. for a Vortex Bowl, in yeah, fact. Yeah, it's a good so, trade. Good trade for us. But it smells enough like Earl Grey, good enough to, to turn you on to it, unfortunately. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I've compared this before. I opened up this and a box of Earl uh, Earl Grey tea bags at the same time. Very, very similar. I'm picking up, like uh, like you said, a lot of floral scents in it. Um, not as powerful as a rose, but still, enough, still there. Enough to put us off of it, in fact. Uh, one thing I do like about this is the smell is very accurate to the taste. Um, we'll get to that in a second. First, let's show you some cuts. Pretty average for Nakla. Um, pretty good. Um, pack this one. Kind of a fluff pack, just a little bit below the rim. Nothing special. The clouds are the clouds are pretty impressive, actually. To be honest, we're just using mm -hmm. two three kings. Didn't expect it anything from it. I hate quick lights. Kind of thought we'd get through this review, throw the head out. We might actually finish the bowl. So depending on how we're feeling, uh, the taste. Again, it tastes pretty much what like it smells like, but uh, the floral smell and taste it becomes a little more overpowering at the end. It dries my mouth out. Yeah, that's one thing. My, my throat, you get a little tingle. Yeah, it's very right dry. In the back. Uh, really not a big fan. Uh, that's why we put it in the small Egyptian. Just really wanted to get it over with. But yeah, enough so that we can warn you guys about it. Now, I'm actually kind of thrown off guard here. Uh, before we started filming this, we were just talking about what we would rate it. Um, from the previous sessions, we both agreed it's a 2 on 10, absolutely hate it, can't finish a bowl. So far today, I'm actually not minding it. I mean, not something I'd smoke often. I'm actually looking to trade it, so if any of you want some... Please take it off yeah, our hands. Let us know, let us know. I know a few people are already interested. Um, we'll figure it out. Anyway, um, let's move straight on to the taste we're getting. It tastes a lot like Earl Grey. Um, I've actually had this at the same time as drinking Earl Grey tea doesn't come off the same as when you drink it, but the smells, it's, it's, it's dead on. It's exactly what you would expect it to taste like. I, I really like that about this, but again, I'm not a huge fan yeah. of the taste. Our taste was really skewed by the fact of the rose. Uh, we traded it very recently, in fact, uh, and it just completely turned us off to the floral taste. Uh, never really was a big fan, big fan of fruity taste or something. Floral? Floral taste? Floral taste is pretty crap. Yeah. But it just completely turned us off to it. Uh, for a rating, we both agreed, more or less, around a 4 or a 5. I, I'd say because we gave it a 2 before, and it's this session is probably closer yeah. to a 5, I'm going to have to give it a 3 or a 4. Not something I would personally recommend, but I know a lot of people on Hookah Pro absolutely love this and are dying to get their hands on it. So it's all mm -hmm. up to your personal tastes. I mean, would I recommend it because of my tastes? No. Everyone I've smoked it with absolutely hates it too. Some people love it. It's really up to what you like. If you've tried rose or jasmine or anything floral and you really like those, this would be a great flavor for you. Yeah, go crazy. And if, to be honest, it just it's not for us. Yeah. Not at all. So uh, we got a few more reviews that are coming up. Probably not now because we did three today. Yeah, we already done three reviews. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, we'll get around to it, so stay tuned.